Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. Always an honor to have you back here on this platform. God bless you, all my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for believing in me and believing in the voice of the Lord I hear and in the prophetic words that God releases through this platform. And if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, a special welcome to you. Please feel free to make yourself comfortable. And believe me, God is going to use this channel to mold you spiritually, to tell you the mind of God and help you know God even better for yourself. That is why if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word, whenever God is giving out new prophetic messages, you will not miss out. I always say you do not know when God has a specific message for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is the word of the Lord to someone. You are very dangerous and powerful. And people around you should tread carefully. They should tread with caution. Because you are very dangerous and powerful. You might not know this. And God is, or maybe you knew it but you are doubting. God is bringing this prophetic word your way so that you can, you can, um, how do I say this? So you can be aware of what you can do. So you can be aware of what is possible. You've been permitting so many things happening wrong around you and maybe just crying about it. And God is saying, why are you crying? You could actually change this just by saying a word. You could actually turn the circumstances and the situations around just by saying a word. Matthew chapter 18 and verse 18 says, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, whatever you bind that is forbid, declared to be improper and unlawful on earth shall have already been bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose, permit declare lawful on earth shall have already been loosed in heaven god is telling you the enormous power you have whatsoever you bind on earth whatsoever you you, you permit on earth is permitted in heaven whatsoever you consider to be lawful if you consider it to be right god is not going to do anything about it and if you consider it to be wrong so whatsoever you lose is going to be loose in heaven when the lord gave me this prophetic word i don't know if anyone has watched this movie it's called the war room it's talking about a lady married to a godly man a godly family but they were not very you know she she was not so much into god and she met this the the the, the, the wife met this old lady who taught her how to win her battles uh, uh, by warring and 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 what what got my attention as far as this story is confirmed is when that woman took action, her home was falling apart, things were not happening right, um, another woman was getting into the picture and things were not really happening right. She was trying to pray, but it couldn't go as much. She was not given to prayer in the real sense of it. And this faithful day, when I read this scripture, this, faith, this particular scene came to my mind. One day she was praying and she just woke up, opened her door and sent the devil out of her house. She said, devil, you have no place in here. You have no place in my home. I mean, she was literal about it. And that is how her home was fixed. She, 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 she commanded the devil to leave. That is how powerful you are. And guess what? The devil actually left. Because really, we have the power. God has given us power and so much authority. And sometimes God is, whenever you're crying about something, God is like, oh my God, 
how I wish you knew that you could handle this. You do not need me to handle this. I have given you authority to go ahead and handle such situations. I have given you authority to go ahead and handle such cases. Why are you crying when you can say a word and everything is going to be okay? Why are you playing the victim when you are actually the victor, when all the power has been given to you? A lady sent me a mail the other day and she was crying and she said, please, woman of God, pray for me. This is what is happening in my home. Another woman who is even my relation is trying to take over my family. And I told them, I'm going to pray for you. But one thing I want you to know is that you've got to stop crying and take authority, take charge. That is your home. You are legally married to this person. You are not supposed to cry if a strange woman is coming into your home. Whether the strange woman is someone you know or you do not know, you've got to exert the same authority. You've got to let the devil know you are in charge, you are in control, you are in command. Hallelujah, glory to God. What the devil wants to see you do is cry and sob and bow your head in shame. That is what the devil wants to see. Whenever you, 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 are, you feel defeated or you sound defeated, the devil is jubilating like, yes, 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 I'm getting to her. But the Bible says, ye are gods and are children of the Most High. But you're going to suffer like the rest of them because you do not know this. When I learned this, I started taking charge and authority. I would speak even to that pain. I would speak. Even to that situation as though they had ears to hear. Because yes, they do have ears to hear. Oh Jesus, even a fig tree that could not produce fruit. Deceiving Jesus by its leaf. Jesus spoke to it and it died. Because we have that kind of authority. Sometimes I feel like Jesus did that to demonstrate to the disciples. That you have so much power. You have no idea. If a circumstance doesn't look like it's favoring you if a circumstance doesn't look like it's it's going to work out something in your favor you call the shots you can curse it from its roots and it's going to die and believe me sometimes it becomes difficult because when you do that you do not see immediate reaction you do not see immediate response you might be tempted to think it did not work you might be tempted to think it is not happening but when but you just have to be uh, to be rest assured that it has enormous power. It's just a matter of time before you're going to see its manifestation. When you pray and when you decree and you declare, don't doubt. Something is happening in the realms of the spirit. It's just a matter of time before your eyes are going to be open to that. Or it's just a matter of time before it's going to um, be crystallized physically hallelujah did you receive this word with gladness may the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you may he be gracious to you and give you peace in jesus mighty name amen